hey guys a very good evening i wanted to give you some important information um a lot of you keep asking me about internships so uh, jn csr that is jawaharlal nehru center for academic and scientific research um has come up with its internship program earlier the last date for application was today but it has been extended to 5 days so i thought it is important that i do make this video and inform you about the internship okay um uh, it is for final year students in their masters okay basically since my audience is masters uh, le- um, you know masters in science so if you are in the final year of your masters or you like let's say you are in first year and you have just you know in august you have gone into the second year you are eligible to apply so final year masters students are only eligible to apply for this uh, internship and you need to have 80% in class 12th that is also one of the eligibility criteria um it doesn't make sense but um apart from that uh, there are certain drawbacks of this internship no doubt it is in one of the most prestigious institutes um um the drawback is it kind of like favors um you can say uh, students who are financially doing well and also or their families are doing well and also someone who is from bangalore okay this internship kind of favors someone who belongs to bangalore for them it would be easier uh, to apply for this internship and i w- i will tell you why it is so let's go into the details and let's see what the internship is about and what is the eligibility criteria and uh, how you can apply okay so let's describe um, about the internship so this is graduate research internship program so this is for um designed for uh, you know b b tech students masters in science or mbbs students to carry out their final year research project like i had mentioned at jncsr okay so uh, the last day to apply is 25th september earlier it was 20th september but it has been extended uh, to 25th september okay and uh, like they will shortly announce the you know the results of the applications as well so uh, let me tell you about the internship a bit uh, what is mentioned over here of course um that it could be 6 months to 1 year depending on the requirement of your degree okay so if in your college requires 6 months uh, research work or 1 year depending on that they can give you that much uh, um, like you know um, that kind of internship like as long as you want Uh, apart from that uh, they have mentioned that you should have a minimum score like i said elig- eligibility is 80% in your 12th standard um i do not understand the 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 premise behind this anyway so the selection procedure what they have mentioned is there are a list of av- available projects and you would need to apply for three projects uh, or you need to give the quotes for the three projects that are aligned with your interest i will just uh, give you the list or show you the list of the projects um and then uh, the final sele- final selection they are saying is based on the academic merit of the student basically if you have some research experience and the letter of references you will provide okay so if you are not aware what is letter of reference letter of reference is basically some professor i- in the academic or the industrial circle who knows you or who has taught you uh, or whom you have worked under they will provide a reference or a recommendation for you okay they will and the template can be downloaded from here they have given the link also so in this template only you can ask your supervisor or your known faculties who have taught you or who who are willing to give you a recommendation um to use this template and fill out this uh reference okay now students selected for the program will be required to submit an undertaking that whatever work you are going to carry out over here that will not be you know um submitted for publication until and unless you have the uh, you know you have the permission of the faculty member under whom you have done the internship okay this is not um like very significant uh, now the problem over here is first of all they have given that you can choose the mode of project that is online and offline of course i don't think online makes any sense over here because um until unless you have a theoretical project okay or something based on theoretical sciences then of course you can opt for online as well but if of course if you are um, applying for an experimental project then of uh, it should be offline only like you should choose offline now this is quite weird uh jncsr is quite a rich institute and it is doing really well so i don't know why are they charging internship fees uh they are saying 5000 will be charged as fees for the internship so i think this is not per month this is even if you are doing a one year internship i guess um you will be charged 5000 uh, which is um like generally you are paid for doing the internship or you are given a stipend so i am not sure why this is the case over here especially when in the in, in the starting they are mentioning bright students so why would bright students come to an institute and pay to the institute it doesn't make sense um anyway so accommodation within the campus is currently unavailable unavailable due to covid restrictions um and they are saying that they will be able to accommodate the interns in the near future 
um uh, based on the availability of hostel and it will be ch it will be on a chargeable basis so this is what i meant that it is uh, you know more suited for someone who is whose family is doing financially well or is financially stable and apart from that if someone is from bangalore of course it makes sense because you know you can uh, kind of like commute from your home so you can save up on the expenses of you know residing uh, or living in bangalore so that is what i thought is is uh, are the couple of drawbacks that they are charging for the internship and they are not providing any kind of accommodation right so um, anyway otherwise it, it it's a good opportunity because the jns sr faculty members are you know one of few of the top faculties in india in in research so definitely it would be a good chance to learn a lot of things now coming to the projects that are available uh, okay so over here you just have to click uh, um, for this uh, for this to apply so once you click over here um this will open up so these are the things you need to keep in keep with you one is the passport for size photograph 10th mark sheet 12th mark sheet transcripts okay so if you are a master student your certificates um uh, your you know mark sheet for bachelor's and first year of masters and then your degree certificate certificate of bachelor's if it is available um any other awards or internship certificates that you have carried out and your two recommendations two referee recommendations along with the application fee okay and the application fee is rupees 500 uh, which is to be submitted uh, to this particular um uh, account details so or account number okay anyway so coming back to the projects so let me just click over here and let me show you so what are the projects um that are available so there are many uh, a few imp a few good ones that i found of course you know it depends on your personal interest as well but uh, uh, according to me this one over here uh development of uh, integrated technologies for economic conversion of anthropogenic co2 to chemical and fuels this is this looks like an interesting project um apart from that i think uh, there was one on water purification which was quite interesting yeah this one water purification capturing heavy metal ions from polluted water and there are many others like synthesis and photophysical studies of organic organic phosphorescent molecules what i found that in the ncu the new chemistry unit i think that's what it is called as um a lot of interesting projects are there over here right synthesis of indoxyl derivatives for use in preparation of lead molecules to treat parkinson's disease um so of course depending on your interest uh, you could um choose the project and these are the list of projects so you need to basically give this code when you are filling the form okay whichever pro projects you are interested in so this is all about the um you know the internship program so if you feel this is something that you are interested in you should definitely apply um i wish you all the very best and uh, take care um i'll see you very soon with another informative video thank you for watching hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the an academy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the an academy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the an academy for that all you need to do is go to the an academy website or download the an academy learning app and search my name over there that is a city once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the an academy platform all right